Welcome to the week thus far. Thanks for joining us. Big round of applause for yourself once again. We've got an awesome show for you tonight. Our guests are Aisha Alpha of Aisha Alpha Life Coaching. <laughs> Not supposed to say your first name in the title there. It's actually just Alpha Life Coaching. Could use some coaching can we get a, myself. Can we get a, we get a slide uh, there? Alpha Life Coaching, maybe a graphic. Oh, hey, I like that Craig, idea. Yeah, Craig, graphic Alpha Life Coaching. Craig, can we get a graphic of Aisha <laughs> Life Coaching? <laughs> like this? Could we just put one up there? Maybe on one hand. Maybe she got two of them. She's dancing on both my hands. <laughs> and our musical guest tonight is uh, very near and dear to our hearts. They made the intro for the Coach of the Year. They, they also it. made the intro for the week thus far. It's Imaginary Cities. <laughs> Best far in Coach of the Year today. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Singing the they two were, hits. We they're involved in both projects. Yeah. Thought we were gonna have to draw a line in the sand at one point. We're back together. But then we didn't. No. <laughs> Can we get a picture of a line in the sand, maybe, Craig? <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so we know what we're talking about. The audience doesn't really know. I think it's been a pretty crazy week, especially for me. I got laid off and I got a haircut. Two very intense things for me. And, uh, and uh, old ball coach had a birthday. I did. That's right. You turned, I'm not going to tell uh, you guys how old I am. Let's just say I can't take girls to cool restaurants anymore. <laughs> Got to take them to Cafe 32. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the old, <laughs> the old triple double. Yeah. Um, For some za, yeah. Now, probably the, <laughs> probably, uh, mm -hmm. probably the craziest night that I've ever had was also your birthday. Continue. Because we started, I guess, well, setting the stage, we started doing stand-up at The Cheer Wednesday night. I host a show at The Cheer every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Come if you can, it's free. Go on. <laughs> That's just the truth. And uh, then a few Winnipeg Jets showed up they did. there. Yes, that's right. I don't know their names other than <laughs> Zach. He thought, they were, he thought they were still rehearsing, didn't know I just uh, found out they... <laughs> I just found out they don't use a ball, so I was surprised. <laughs> uh, but at any rate, and also Crab Man from My Name is Earl. It's like a little miniature Snoop Dogg. <laughs> really nice guy. So they came to see Crab Man, basically. That's right. Let's not and then pretend they Zach Bogosian, good friend of mine, whatever, no big deal. Uh, I'm a regular guy. Same, it, was a regular, it was a regular Wednesday. They, I comb my mustache left side, right side, same day as usual. I mean, look. But it was my birthday, and... Woke up 9 o'clock, had a shower, just another Wednesday. 9 p.m. And uh, I woke up... <laughs> but Zach Bogosian tweeted, like, going to the cheer for comedy. Because I was wondering why all these, like, 20-year-old, really good-looking girls were coming to see comedy <laughs> for us 13 washed-up losers. I was like, what's going on? You're just 32 now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm 19, I hope he likes me, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> It's only a 12 year difference. Um, 13, 13. What am I saying? Uh, now, the craziest part though is that they invited us back to not their us. place. Not <laughs> us. Well, we ended up there. We ended up there. <laughs> Because that's what the party needed, or that's what the party needed. 13 out of shape comedians yeah, with no booze. Need an influx of. Uh, Grey Goose, how do you do? 10 no, no alcohol do. free males. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that's what they were looking for. Yeah. But at any rate, we went there. It was a great time. You know, I uh, talked to a few ladies who were constantly staring at the hockey players <laughs> the whole time. I got to know a little about them. And, uh, and then... I said I was Andrew Ladd. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and then Paul Roblowskis, local stand-up, very funny man. Very funny. Uh, very gotta funny. give him props. Did not wear socks. 
And uh, also, at the end of the night, got His a bunch of them. His feet were going to commando, and yeah, he, uh... got, he got a bunch of them to sign a pizza box, which was pretty cool. But before him and another comedian, they're eating this pizza, and then one of the girls who didn't want to talk to me anymore, she was like, hey, that pizza's five days old. So they're like, oh. <laughs> Just like in the box sign. Brief pause. That five days old, eh? Yeah, it's... <laughs> The, judging on the place that we're at and the person I'm talking to, it doesn't f***ing matter I stop listening. how far I deep my... Oh, my God. You know what? It's not all fun and... You know, it's not all when, it's not all parties, though, at the week thus far. We've, well, yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, coming up like soon, think. you guys, no word of a lie. We actually this are starting is, a bursary. This is very important. So very if you guys want to go back to school, um, you want to start school, maybe a 40-year-old here wants a philosophy degree. Who knows? Who cares? We are offering... A $250, no, $250 influx into your for future. books for U of M for next year. So stay tuned. That's right. For the week thus far. We bursary. pretty much only did this so that we can have a microphone at a graduation <laughs> ceremony <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> in the it's so, stage time, right? It's stage time. You so. gotta use it. All, All right. right. Stay tuned. Well, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. Get your GEDs and then. And the news. <laughs> For a taste of royalty, head to 120 King Street. Just look at that wood. Week thus far tapes at the King's Head Pub every Monday live at 8 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were tuned in just a minute ago, you would know I said it's the news! Thursday, the Transcona area celebrated its 100th birthday. The celebration at the Transcona Branch Legion featured a countdown to a train whistle that awkwardly didn't sound off on time. Locals remarked it was strange, saying it was the first time something from Transcona had failed to blow. <laughs> A Toronto couple are being sued by the Liquor Control Board of Ontario for exploiting the duty-free program by posing as diplomats. The affidavit claims $1.6 million in liquor was shipped to a warehouse with no record of remittance. The LCBO caught on to the scam after meeting the fake diplomat at a company picnic. <laughs> Happy 100! <100th>. Um... <laughs> Next month, a new Manitoba court will begin hearing cases involving people with mental health issues that cause them to break the law. The court will be in session beginning May 10th with the Honorable Judge Guy Covered in Bees presiding. <laughs> <laughs> and the gavel is so clearly made in MS Paint. <laughs> and also the scales of justice, apparently. All right. Uh, Yet another case of the H3N2 swine flu has been found in a U.S. child, bringing the number of infected children to 13. In each case, the children had contact with pigs, either at a processing plant, farm, or encountering Rosie O'Donnell kneeling over a trough drinking turkey gravy. <laughs> she looks like Ricky Gervais there. <laughs> Calgary's first human milk bank opened for business last week and already has 40 donors registered. They will be offering loans with interest rates of 2% and 1%. No homo. <laughs> A five-year-old Connecticut boy is in state custody after bringing $500 worth of heroin to school for show and tell. <laughs> When asked what he knew about the drug, the boy responded, Daddy says it's how Santa pays for cool toys. <laughs> Earlier this month, a Japanese ghost ship that was dislodged by last year's tsunami appeared off the coast of Alaska. Before the U.S. Coast Guard sunk the ship, it was boarded and stripped by some Canadian fishermen. And we happen to have with us the captain of that Canadian fishing boat here to comment. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me, boy. Now, 
I was cruising off the coast of Alaska. Might have been in American waters fishing. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> and I comes across a ship. Suddenly the radio's filled with a great crackling and screeching. It says, oi, I'm a the ghost of a Japanese boater. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like the ghost of the Japanese boat? Are you a boat containing Japanese ghosts? <laughs> Are you a boat filled with people Japanese people have killed? He says, I'm the first one. <laughs> I say, where are you from? <laughs> he says, uh, Japan. <laughs> I say, well, I'm from Mundi Pan, fresh water. And where I'm from, we do a special one thing with ghost ships. So I stripped it down for all its parts. Now I got Honda covers in me cabin. No big deal. Balling out of control. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I knew you were a sea captain. One of them. Very passionate man. <laughs> Inmates at a prison in Quebec are suing the Correctional Services after they filled in a pool built and maintained by prisoners since 1984. Correctional Services say the closure of the pool was necessary as the warden was sick and tired of inmates yelling, Hey, warden! 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 Watch me dive! <laughs> warden! Police in Ottawa have arrested a 72-year-old man after discovering a marijuana grow-up on his property. Neighbors were surprised it took police so long to arrest the man as he could always be heard yelling at neighborhood teens, Get off my grow-up! <laughs> Last Thursday, North Korea defied warnings from the rest of the world by launching a test rocket that would further develop the country's nuclear weapons program. The rocket disintegrated just moments after the launch, with debris falling harmlessly into the Yellow Sea. North Korean officials applauded the success of their super-glorious low-altitude explosion device for the glory of the Republican people. <laughs> About 75 Air Canada flights were cancelled last Friday after a group of pilots staged a sick-out, wherein over 40 pilots called in sick. Air Canada said they became suspicious when 40 pilots called in sick with TB, sick with scurvy, and sick and tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. And that's the news. <laughs> now, a lot of people might look at this group of people that we are and say to themselves, none of you could possibly care about anything, let alone yourselves or your hygiene. <laughs> but we do care, and we made a video about it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt Nightingale of The Week Thus Far. You know, bullying is a big issue in today's schools. Unfortunately, science hasn't developed a better way to take things from kids that are smaller than you. This is John Wilson from The Week Thus Far. Reading is an important skill that you need for life, unless you're hot. Hi, I'm Mike Green with The Week Thus Far. You know, with STDs on the rise, everybody knows it's important to be careful out there. And you might hear people telling you, you shouldn't have sex with someone if you don't have any emotions towards them. But what a lot of people don't know is that wanting to tell your buddies about it is an emotion. Hi there, I'm Tyler Penner from The Week Thus Far. You know, if you visit fast food establishments as often as I do, you'll realize that there's a crippling shortage of straws with your order. Please, people, check your bag for straws. I'm Chantal Morostic of the week this far. I have a borderline personality disorder, but I can care about your too.
right back with Aisha Alpha. I had to fake. They told me that if I didn't fake the clap, that I would ruin the tape. Oh, you've already done that. God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pleased to announce our guest this evening. That's she something. is a very funny lady. She was born in a hospital named Wusasa. And she is currently Winnipeg's funniest person with a day job and was also in the Winnipeg Comedy Festival. Please welcome Aisha Alpha! Oh. oh, I pulled my bed sheet. <laughs> Aisha Alpha, how are things in your world? They're great. I didn't know he was going to be here. I thought that he was on a different show. Yeah, that started and then didn't get finished. That's for sure. They were like, hey, our premiere episode is 10 minutes long. <laughs> And just him, like, own joke laughing. That was the whole thing. Just it was, yeah, it was just a lot of... <laughs> it's just a roll through the interview. Come on, you guys. I will burn both you guys. Go on now. <laughs> well, let's give him something to burn us with. You have some lovely hair. Thank you. It is curly. Yes. I have some curly hair. It is lovely. <laughs> How do you... What's your regimen? Now... <laughs> you... <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's got to be a hard-hitting question. Hard-hitting. What is you, your regiment? You used to straighten your hair for a long time, and now yeah. you're repping the curls. Is that because you're doing comedy and it's wacky? Or is that because you care about curls? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these really, truly are hard-hitting questions. Um, I, the true reason, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it helps with comedy when I say my hair is like pubic hair. If I had straight hair, I'd be like, oh, her pubic hair is weird. But... <laughs> Can't pubic hair, that. Like I can't 3, say pubic hair. Yeah. Short and curlies. Short and curlies. <laughs> We're gonna have to beep everything you just said. <laughs> <laughs> um, the real reason I started growing curly hair is because when I was straightening it, I was damaging the hair. And mm. then I started to get a couple gray hairs. And I thought I can either go gray with straight hair or I can get it curly and dye it eventually. So one day I'm gonna dye it. Hard hitting answers. Yeah, that's yeah. Hard no, hitting. my fault. Fault. Are you ladies having fun over there? You guys having fun? <laughs> talking about hair? With your regimen? Well, if we're going to talk about gray hair, champagne. if we're going to talk about gray hair, then we'll include oh, you oh, once we get oh, oh. I guess he's not the young Ooh. ball coach. Christopher no. Lloyd has gray hair. <laughs> huh? Huh? Isn't that Doc Brown? Judges <laughs> have gray hair. <laughs> Judges? <laughs> Yeah, because you can only be one at the end huh? of your life. Huh? You have to have seen everything. Uh, so, how was the comedy fest for you? You were at said party that we were at. That was crazy. I liked evening. how you described that. It was like, oh, all a bunch of us guys who can't get chicks. I was there with you guys. Like, I went with you. I'm a and guy who can't get chicks. did you get any chicks chick? that night? I can get a chick if I want to get a chick. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Do you want to have a contest and go out and try and pick up a chick? Fine. 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 Fine with me. Yeah. How you doing? You wanna... I saw her first. <laughs> so bulk of <laughs> Well, I'm not laughing at you guys. No, it's something else okay. I thought of that I said earlier. I thought about his own joke. His own joke. He's laughing. I was just killing myself in my head. Yeah. Right yeah. Well, coach, you're hilarious. Oh, you're so Yeah. Get out of here, over boy. and over again. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> so wow. This is awful. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. So, Comedy Fest was good. Comedy Fest was really good. It was really good. 
A lot of uh, good. good comedy. <laughs> good no, the shows were really good. Going to see them was good, and like you know, being in them was good. We got a good, yeah, we got a good flow from the comedy. All right, let me let me just say this interview here real quick. Uh, <laughs> so you we said you were born in Zaria. Now, where exactly in Zaria uh, were you born? You know what? Actually, I have a great story for you. On the way Thank here you. today, I had to take a cab here. It was a strange oh, cab, it's though. A strange cab. Why? Why is that? I got in. <laughs> and you wouldn't believe this, the driver... What, what about the driver? ...was a young white guy. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Guys, it was... I was thinking... Oh. Am I the only one here who's thinking, yeah? Can we get a clip of uh... <laughs> That is a joke old ball coach pioneered. Can oh, we get a video have you of told old that ball before? coach <laughs> telling cash cab? Maybe can we get old ball coach to <laughs> cash cab over here? Can we get a cash cab over here? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so we've pretty much covered nothing at this point. Yeah. I think so, we, should, we should get into the meat and yeah, potatoes of the whole thing here. Mm -hmm. What was your last boyfriend like? <laughs> <laughs> old. Old. Bali. <laughs> Mostly. Good coach. A good, good coach, yeah. Coached me. And... Taught you how to love. <laughs> no, not so uh, much. It was pretty athletic, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had more of a kid rock body, I believe. <laughs> so, uh... Not so much athletic as paid a lot of attention to athletes. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't been able to see him in a while. He's had on a disguise, if you will. Yeah, where did he go? A bit of a disguise. It's He's bizarre. Just like Vincent Price with a little more weight on there. Mm, a little more weight on there. I meant the mustache. Oh. Okay, Aisha Alpha, thank What's you very much for coming out. <laughs> we gotta go, but you host a stand up comedy show on the first Saturday of every month at yes. Times Change. Yes, called Comedy on the Corner, 7 to 9 p.m. Come see some of Winnipeg's best comedians there. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Or don't. Or don't. Positive Women's Retreat at Prairie Theatre Exchange on April 28th. Yes, it's actually being put on by the Happy Monkey Club, but I'm going to be the host and also do a, a short talk that's going to be similar to the style of TED Talk that we did before. Oh, Our and man, you did welcome. do a TED Talk. TEDx Manitoba, yes. Men Bam! Not there it is. You can cut it. Ice Alpha, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we'll be right back with the Legendary City. Hey, hey, hey. Odina Celebration Circle, one great part of one great city. Odina is the Cree word for gate to the stars. It was constructed by Duff Roblin as a formal apology. For what you ask? <laughs> Only the stars can answer that question. These days, Odina Circle is primarily used by local youths to connect with the vastness of the universe via can rips. Winnipeg Stargate. One great part of one great universe? Welcome back! It's the end of the show, everybody. And I would like to thank, once again, our head writer, Matthew Nightingale. Woo! Woo! Out the last time. I've seen a lot of work. Very funny man. His red hair. You be the judge. <laughs> Aisha, would you like to thank anyone? I'd like to thank you guys for having me out. You're welcome. I'd like to thank Francis from downstairs for always mispronouncing my name slightly I'll and kissing him. me on the lips. Whoa. Kill him. There's Kill a picture him. of him. <laughs> Don't be too upset. There's a photograph of him downstairs getting kissed by two men. Oh. So he's all over the place. <laughs> he swings both ways. Well, he knows how to get laid. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I guess we're good. That's oh, good. I know, I'd like to thank okay, the sure. Jets for hosting my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jack. Yeah. I know you're watching. Thank I know you Andrew watching. Pizza box. Andrew, sorry you couldn't be there, but, you know, <laughs> Interesting time. fact, there's already a fake Winnipeg Jets pizza box out there <laughs> at our house. Uh, 
All right, well, without further ado, our musical guest tonight is called Imaginary Cities. Yeah. <laughs> It's a shame, tapping on my window pane. It's a shame, never goes away. It's a shame, oh, but it's a gentle rain. It's a shame, it's a shame, it's a shame, shame, shame. We're the same, wonder why we go insane. We're the same, that's just how we're made. We're the same, oh, but in a different way. It's a shame, it's a shame, it's a shame, shame, shame. shame. Sweet young lover, undercover, hiding each other, hiding each other. Those young lovers only want to know. I would dive into your love, now we go and see. It's my love, so let me find where I'm made to see. excuses for this song. This is a song we've never played before. We're going to play it tonight because uh, uh, it means a lot to us. Can you hear that? We're just going to wing it here and because uh, we uh, were lucky enough to write the theme song for the week thus far and we're big fans of this show. And, uh, I've always wanted to do an alternate version for the, for the credits at the end and I heard that they just, you know, they use the music from the live band for the credits, so we're gonna do it here. Here we go. One, two. Hey, the week thus far, the week thus far, this is the week thus far. Hey, the week thus far, the week thus far, this is the week. Okay, so let's get some of the guys up here. No, not yet. Here we go. Everyone clap. And the lyrics are really easy. It's hey. Let's speed it up too. It's hey, this is the week thus far. I need my pick. This is the 